Hello friends. Today I am going to show you how to connect Chat API with Dialogflow. So Chat API is generally a WhatsApp API provider. So you can send uh, messages to the numbers from your number. You just need to scan it in this platform. So let's go through it. So the URL is chatapi.com. As you can see, chat-api.com. Just go to sign up page okay and login with your email so after login you will uh, your window will open like this so this is your url api url this is will be your token and it provides three day trial period for you so you can test it now you need to scan the qr code here okay so i think the QR code doesn't load it so yes it will provide the QR code just remember the from the number which you are scanning this QR code whatsapp number that number uh, should have an internet connection okay and it is in working mode so yes so this is the regular authorization so let me just uh, do the authorization here now yes so i scanned it with my one of my number now just keep a note keep a note that after sign up you will receive a verification email on your uh, with your registered uh, email one so just check your email for any verification and you need to enable that so right now i just received it so let me just uh, verify the, the account uh, so it says this this yes so the I verified the email now this should work okay so let's proceed uh, with the next steps let me just go here yes so let's move to the next steps in dialog flow so yes so your uh, scenario is here Okay, now in Dialogflow, I what I have done is that in welcome intent, I asked for a number, means the user will enter his mobile number here. And now in Dialogflow, we will create uh, generate a random OTP and send it to this number. So I already set up the fulfillment in my local, so it's easier to use it here. Now let me just set it to uh, this. So let the uh, number is equal to agent dot mm, yes now what I have to do is I need to generate an OTP so at dot load four digit OTP we will create Yes, so this will create a 40 OTP. Now we have to send this OTP on that number. So just go to the chat API station. If you go to the home page of it and scroll down, you will see that there is a code to send a message. So this is the body, this is the type JSON, and this is the URL with token. So all this uh, information will be present here on the WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp section of chat API. This is the URL and this is your token. So let's uh, put it here. So for this, I'm using Exios. So I already have a code. Let me just go to here. Yes, so this is the code. Now let, uh, let me copy this. Go here, paste it. Yes, so now we need to pass this number here. Uh, yes, this is a mobile number and we need to send OTP in the body. So, your OTP is... Okay, you all need to change the token here. 
it's already there and the url is instance 353793 okay this is a code now what i will do is after sending it i will give a response to user uh, please check your whatsapp for an otp and then it's in the add uh, enter the otp okay. now we need to uh, send this value to the next intent this otp value to the next intent where we can compare this so okay, let me just set the context i will pass this value in context only agent dot context dot set so context name will be let's say otp verify and lifespan i will give it one and uh, parameters inside this there is a otp in which i will pass this otp parameter yes so this is done okay now need to create next intent so i already created it so this is the next intent otp verification in which i put input context is otp verify so in this context i will receive the otp value and uh, this is the training phrase so this is the training phrase for which the user will enter so yes you can see that uh, the user will enter entered parameter is user otp and the actual otp is passed through context now just uh, let's create a handler for this otp verification so yes this is the handler now let import the parameters so otp is equal to agent dot parameters dot otp and uh, for user otp so don't confuse here this is the generated otp and this is the otp entered by user now we need to compare these two so if otp is equal to equal to user otp then it will give a response like we are uh, your uh, number verification is successful uh, and uh, if this is not the case then we will say sorry wrong otp please try again right so this is the one i already created the handler here otp verification so i think this should work now let's give it a try so I just save it and uh, run it. Now let's test it uh, here. So let me just reset the context. I say hi. I ask for a number with country code. Now let me type one. Okay, so I think it send a OTP. Check your WhatsApp and OTP. Enter the OTP. So I already log in into the OT my WhatsApp section. OTP will come here. Let's wait for it. Okay, and uh, meanwhile then, uh, yes. So here is the OTP. Your OTP is nine four seven six. Okay, so let me just. Uh, Put it here nine four seven six. 
yes so your number verification is successful now let's try again with a wrong otp okay so let me just say hi enter otp okay so it says otp is sent enter the otp now let's check for another otp here okay so my next otp is 3867 uh, let me just put it here 1223 yes so sorry wrong otp please try again yes so in this way we can use chat api to send messages on whatsapp all right and uh, there is also a webhook section set a webhook in which we uh, which we can use to create a chatbot using this chat api platform uh, yes and that's uh, for uh, and that's it for today in the next video i will show you how to set up a webhook and how to create a chatbot with it so thank you everyone Thank you.